Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. So, I am going to be doing a little bit of a different video today, uh, kind of switching it up. We're gonna be doing a review of the Uni 3 pizza oven uh, that I have owned for three weeks. So it's right here. Uh, I've got it covered up right now, it's just sitting on my deck. Now, why did I buy a pizza oven? Well, I love flatbread pizza. Um, every time I go out to a place that has really good flatbread pizza, really thin crust, you know, I've gotta buy it. I just, I love it. So, but no, I'm gonna try my hand at doing this myself. Now, you should know I have zero cooking experience. Um, I can make eggs, that's about it. So, diving all in, decided, you know what, I can buy this on Amazon, about $275. Um, I had a couple gift cards, so I thought, why not? Let's do it. So let's check out the Uni 3, and I'll talk about what I've learned over the past three weeks of owning it, and then uh, we'll try to fire it up. So when I bought my Uni 3, I bought the carrying case for it also, or cover. So right now the cover's on it. Uh, you can also flip the cover upside down. It's got handles, so you can kind of carry it, take it with you on the move. Um, I also bought um, just a metal pizza peel to kind of go with it. Um, but let's go ahead and look at kind of what comes when you just buy the oven itself. So this is what you get. When you buy the Uni 3, you get the oven itself, you get the hopper for wood pellets, and we'll look at those in a little bit. Um, you get the stone inside, and you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, you just have to buy fuel, so wood pellets. Um, you have to have a torch to light it, um, or some sort of fire starter. Um, and then you, and then that's it. You're ready to go and start making pizza. Um, so let's take a dive in, see what's going on with this unit three. So how does this oven work? Uh, and is it really that user friendly for someone that's never made pizza? Well, obviously, as I said, I am not a cook. I was able to make delicious pizza on my very first try doing this. Um, was it the best pizza I've ever had? No, but I'm slowly improving my recipe. So let's take a look at this oven. So this Uni 3 was made, it comes ready for wood pellets. And that's what we have in the back here. This is the wood hopper. When you get this out of the box, what do you need to do? So the door comes off like this, okay? Just kind of pops off. You have to attach this um, handle, okay? Here, I've got my wood hopper lid in there. You've got a pizza stone in here, okay? That you need to install. Flame, uh, kind of a flame guard here, and there's a flame guard in the very back as well. Those need to be installed, and uh, they just snap into place. There's really, there's no screws at all. The chimney needs to go on as well, and the chimney is attached just with a little snap piece here, so that's really easy. And then you have to attach the wood hopper, and the wood hopper has two Allen wrench bolts on either side, and you can just pop it up and pop that off if you if you need to for moving it or for switching out to propane. And we'll talk about propane in a minute. Um, but you really just put those screws in, slide this thing on, and you're ready to go at that point. It was easy. The setup time total, once I, was, I got this thing out of the box, less than five minutes, I was ready to go. So then you um, just fire it up from that point. Pretty straightforward. So to use wood pellets in this oven, You've got this tray in the back, and this is your burn tray. So the first time when you're lighting it, you fill this up with your wood pellets, you slide it in like that, and then over on this side of the hopper, there's a little hole. You just take like a propane torch that you can get at a hardware store for about $15, hold it there for about 30 seconds, lights right up. Once you're lit, once your uh, pellets are lit, use this hopper piece here, and what you do is you just take pellets and you're constantly pouring them down here. Now, you have, you're gonna get a bag of wood pellets. They're not that expensive. You can get them um, from Amazon or kind of any barbecue store. The lid to the chimney is actually a scoop. So you can scoop out your wood pellets and you pour them in this hopper. When you're burning this, this is never gonna be on your oven when you're using wood pellets. The hopper's got this little contraption here that knocks the pellets down so they slowly go down into your into your hopper i've figured it's about um you got to fill this hopper up about once for every one to two pizzas um depending on how long it's taking you to go back in roll out more dough and come back out um if you've got your pizzas ready to go and you're just tossing them in your oven pulling them out tossing them in pulling them out you get a, probably uh three or more pizzas cooked um with the amount of pellets that fills this hopper um you know when i used it the first night i kind of had this thing going for hours at a time because I was doing multiple pizzas for a lot of people that we had over. Um, 
and it, it's really really easy just to kind of keep that loaded up if you do get too low throw more in you can throw the torch back on there for a couple seconds light it back up again and it's good to go uh, once you've got it lit the stone needs to get hot so um you just got to kind of take a temperature of that or just wait about 10 minutes about 10 minutes uh goes by your your stone's gonna be nice and hot it's gonna be right around um you know over 700 degrees um in this oven and that's gonna be great to make that crust nice and crispy um it's like i said so user friendly um really the biggest um challenge is going to be figuring out how to make pizza dough um, and I did that by just by watching some YouTube videos. And I'll throw a YouTube video up on here um, a little bit later on kind of how I make my pizza dough and how I make my pizzas and kind of the things that I've tweaked in recipes that I found online. But this oven has been absolutely fantastic. Now, wood pellets are great. You'll notice right now I have this thing sitting underneath my deck roof. Well, I'm not going to be burning wood pellets on my deck with the soot going up. That's just a fire hazard altogether. So I have it up here right now. Um, what I've done is I purchased the propane option. So let's dive into what the propane option for this oven looks like, how much that costs, what comes in the box when you buy the propane attachment, and how much of a changeover is required to get the propane hooked up to this oven and start cooking some pizza. All right, so propane attachment. So I was going to be making pizzas last weekend uh, and it was raining out. It was gonna be, they're calling for rain all day Sunday. And I didn't wanna be sitting on my patio with this pizza oven trying to cook pizzas in the rain. So I went on Amazon and I bought the propane attachment for the Uni 3. Now I was able to buy this on Amazon. It was delivered uh, by 8 a.m. Sunday morning, which is awesome. Um, so we were able to cook pizzas all day Sunday, which was excellent. Now how does this work? What do you get in the box? Because when I was looking online, all I could see was that I was getting the attachment. I couldn't see that I was getting a regulator hose. And this is what screws on to your propane tank. This is what you get. You get the whole thing. Everything's ready to go. All you need to do is get a propane tank and gas, hook it up, and you're cooking pizzas. So that was excellent. You get it out of the box. It's already hooked up. And this piece just goes right into the back of the oven, right where that wood hopper is. You pop the wood hopper off, pop the propane piece in, tighten those bolts up, connect to gas, and you're cooking. That easy. So I'll show you that process right now. All right, so here's the Uni 3 setup for wood pellets. Again, this is the lid for your hopper door. It's actually got a little hook on it, so you can be pulling out your tray when it's hot at the end of the night. But let's talk about how do we get this thing off. Now, the Uni 3 comes with everything you need. It comes with screws, it comes with extra screws. At least I think it comes with extra screws because I got extras in a bag and it seems to be working fine. So I'm hoping they're extra. Uh, it comes with your Allen wrench. Now the great thing about the Uni 3, they really thought about having this thing out on the road away from home. So the Allen wrench bolt, there's actually a little hook underneath that you can slide this thing underneath and it stays with your oven at all times. Um, so that's awesome, um, just so you always have it. Now, as I said, this hopper door here, it is attached just with these little Allen wrenches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bolt I'm gonna stick it on here and just loosen these bolts up. Just a little bit. And just like that, you can pull the wood hopper, the pellet hopper, right off of the oven. I can then take my propane attachment. This is gonna slide right in, right on top of those bolts. Slide right on. And then we're just gonna snug those bolts up a little bit. Allen wrench can go right back under the oven and we are ready to cook with gas. It is that simple. Now, when we are cooking with gas on the Uni 3, there's a couple things that you need to make sure that you're aware of because you change kind of how the whole oven works. So. When we're ready for propane, let's spin this around. There's a couple things we're going to do. When you're cooking with gas, you're going to keep this door off the entire time. Chimney cover stays on the chimney when we're cooking with gas. So those are two different things. When you're cooking with the wood, you're going to keep that chimney off so you can have that, um, you know, the flue is open so that smoke and soot can get up and out. And you're going to keep the door on and that's going to keep that draft going up. But when you're cooking with gas, you need to make sure that those fumes are kind of coming out. It's going to 
bring the fire out across the top of your pizza. We're gonna keep the flue closed um, and the door's just gonna stay off. So that is how simple it is. All right, so that is how easy it is to get this propane attachment hooked up to the Uni 3. Now, um, as I said, the cooking's a little bit different when you use propane, but it makes uh, your life significantly easier. Um, when you're trying to get this thing set up quickly, if it's raining outside, you wanna maybe do this um, over a covered area, um, not to worry about soot or um, risk of a fire with the, the ash and things like that. Um, the great thing is if I'm taking this over to my friend's house, I've got the bag that I can quickly carry this thing over to a friend's house, throw it in the back of my car. Like I said, the chimney pops off really easily just with a snap. Um, I can go over, hook the propane up to their 20 pound propane tank from their gas grill, and, and we're cooking. I don't have to worry about lugging uh, wood pellets around or anything like that. Now, people have asked me, what's the difference in flavor between wood pellets and propane? And there definitely is a difference. Um, the wood pellets that I use, have uh, they're pecan flavored wood pellets, and I did get um, some subtle um, flavors within the crust, um, especially where it got crispy. Um, the wood is more of an uneven burn because you're constantly adding pellets to try to maintain temperature. Where propane, you're getting a constant temperature all the time, so you're gonna get a nice even pizza if you're in there and making sure you're spinning it at the right times and so on. But wood pellets, I think, kind of give you more of an, a craft artisan feel to your pizza. It's more of an uneven burn. It's a little bit more natural, um, but it's really, um, it's, it's a lot of fun to kind of use the wood pellets as well. The propane attachment, I wasn't gonna buy. When I bought this oven, like I said, it's about $275, um, so that was kind of a lot of money out of my time. Fortunately, I had some Amazon gift cards to help with that, which is kind of why I made the jump and just decided to do this without really knowing anything about cooking pizza. But um, I thought I'd, I'd hold the, the propane attachment off for a couple months, um, kind of uh, put some money back in the coffers before I go ahead and just jump in and buy the uh, $85 propane attachment. But then, you know, we were going to put pizzas on last Sunday. It was going to rain. We thought, why not? Let's just do it now. Um, we're gonna use the oven, we're gonna use the propane, um, might as well just do it. So we, we jumped in, bought it on Amazon, arrived a couple hours later, really early the next morning, and we were able to keep cooking. Um, so, like I said, the oven is great. You get a lot more into even temperature with that propane. Either way, you're cooking pizzas in about 60 seconds. So the first time we were had this thing out and we were cooking with it, our whole neighborhood was over. So we had about 12 people in the house and we were spinning pizzas in and out constantly. Every few minutes I'm inside, rolling another pizza out, getting it ready to go, throwing toppings on, coming out, putting it in. And the great thing is for me, someone who doesn't know how to cook pizza, is it allowed me to quickly adjust my recipe. So I threw a pizza in, pulled it out. We were able to taste test it and say, you know what, we need to add this to our sauce or um, you know, put, try these toppings on and we could put another pizza in the oven, have it out in less than two minutes from rolling it out into the kitchen, get it in the oven and get it back in the kitchen to try eating it. So uh, you can't beat the amount of time that it takes to cook a pizza with the uni. It's awesome. There's a lot of other uni options out there now and some other ones on Kickstarter. Um, this is a great introductory um, pizza oven. I love it. We'll be using it um, for years to come for sure. And the fact that it's small and mobile makes it so much easier. I don't have to store this outside. I can throw it on top of a refrigerator I have in my garage. It takes up zero space. So highly recommended. Thank you for tuning in today. Next time, we're going to fire this thing up. We're going to make some pizza. And uh, I'm going to show you just how easy this thing really is to use. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you next time.